Does having low testosterone levels make you more susceptible to getting COVID or more severe forms of COVID? This is the latest that's been discussed in recent journals, believe it or not. I know we're all getting tired of talking about COVID, but this is an important one that we've been talking about since the early days of COVID. And we're here with Dr. George Liatos to discuss it after this. Does COVID become more severe if you're suffering from low testosterone? So we're here today in Birmingham at the NEC. We're not filming in our usual place. We've got these handheld microphones because we're in a busy lobby. But we wanted to discuss uh, a recent article, and it actually is on a website. Does COVID become more severe, or are you at higher risk of a more severe form of COVID if you have low testosterone? So hi, Dr. George. Hello, Morning Michael. Today. Glad to be here again for second year in a row at the Arnold Classic Festival UK, uh, the Balance by Hormones booth. So, uh, speaking about this topic, I feel kind of redemption because I was saying that since last year. And actually, in Masculine Development, I have written an article speaking about uh, how vulnerable you become if you are rushed into the hospital with low testosterone. So, hypogonadic men have less chances of survival rather than you going out of men or men who follow the social replacement therapy uh, and face the inflammatory disease of coronavirus. So the skeptical is as follow. When, are you, when are you're of low testosterone, means you have muscle wasting. Muscle wasting decreases the basal metabolic rate. That in turn increases the visceral fat. Visceral fat is something heated into your belly gut, let's say, okay? It's not the subcutaneous. It's actually a villain because it's associated with the release of inflammatory cytokines in telekin 6 and tumor necrosis factor that play a major role in the inflammatory cascade of the coronavirus infection. Besides, men who are rushed into the ICU have physical and mental stress and when they get into the ventilator especially. Besides that, the intravenous effusion of corticosteroids and especially dexamethasone which is actually a form of cortisone, right. suppresses the HPTA, the testosterone synthesis, plus the stress releases cortisone and prolactin that are uh, in turn inhibitory to the HPTA and testosterone. Therefore, this, this man is uh, absolutely in trouble because from the other hand, the, the, from the one point of view, the stress, the, 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 the treatment that he takes and also his age because generally over 70 years old this is the average age related to the hospitalization in the ICU is linked to hypogonadism okay so uh, the chances are very low of survival so remember we were talking about in the early days of COVID that you know perhaps or towards the middle and the end that perhaps COVID is really a disease of those who are un unhealthy and having low testosterone Absolutely. levels is Metabolic linked to Metabolic syndrome diabetes are uh, very related to the um, underlying diseases that somebody has. And actually, what I've seen in society, the out of shape people are wearing the masks because they are more vulnerable and they are, uh, they are more afraid to catch up the virus. Personally, I had the war vaccines of mRNA, but I never had so far COVID infection. I've been twice in the States, twice in the UK, travel across the islands, okay, personal relationships. Every day at the gym, two years now, I never had COVID because I take care of my immune system. I'm fit. I'm taking some vaccines. And frankly, I'm not paranoid about the mask because if you take off the mask for one minute, you may be unlucky and got the disease. But if you have the shield of the antibodies, either exogenous, yeah. either endogenous, okay, from the lifestyle, then you're safe. So that's good to know, having that, that backup. But also the testosterone is, uh, we spoke about this on other videos, anti-inflammatory. Yes, anti-inflammatory out of this mechanism that I'm telling you, but besides anti-inflammatory to the joints perhaps. But now there is a misconception why women survive in the COVID slightly. It's about 52 to 48 over men. And I guess my assumption is that the estrogen have a protective role in the endothelium, okay? Because COVID is not just an inflammatory uh, uh, and disease that hits the lungs and the respiratory system, but it's also a vascular disease, okay? And we have to admit that estrogens have a protective role, right. all right? 
that's why we're telling not to crash estrogens during the TRT. Of course. All right, so I think is that all we have on the, on the topic then for... Yes, I mean, um, check out your testosterone levels. It's better to be eugonadal. Uh, people should understand that super physiological levels of testosterone can also release extra estrogens that could be prethrombotic. Now, COVID, we know there's a disease of of vascular issues and also that leads to thrombosis. Besides, elevated hemoglobin is also increases the viscosity and the tendency of clotting. And COVID is related to clotting and coagulation. So we have to aim for optimization of testosterone levels, okay? okay. Not too high, but not too low. Sounds like a plan. So uh, make sure you test your testosterone levels, make sure at an optimal level, I suppose, going into uh, basically the flu and cold season, if not the COVID season uh, this winter. And uh, after that, um, if you need testosterone treatment. Well, testosterone equals anti-aging in men, okay? Men cannot live without testosterone and of, of low testosterone. And testosterone makes you healthier, of course. More fit means less visceral fat, less diabetic, better insulin sensitivity, okay? Uh, it reverses obesity, it reverses metabolic syndrome. So, uh, if you are of low testosterone, it's against the odds. All right, so if you've had uh, COVID and you haven't had testosterone, let us know. Or if you're on testosterone, it doesn't mean you won't get COVID. But let us know what your experiences are uh, if you're a man on TRT. And uh, I, I think that's it today. So, uh, we'll speak to you next time. And thanks for watching.